What's going on, guys? It's Jared Genesis here. <laughs> Brittany Venti. Um, she chickened out, guys, and I knew that she would. And I'll tell you guys something, okay? Um, <laughs> it wasn't because I farted on my video. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't because I'm shirtless. It's because I'm a fucking threat. That's right. Because I'm MGTOW and I'm based. I mean, pretty much all MGTOWs are. That pretty much goes without saying. But I can promise you guys that is a reason why she did not respond to me. Why she did not have me on her show. Um, and I, I completely harassed her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not literally, but you know. I spammed the fuck out of her Twitter. I know she saw my video. And I'm sure other people sent it to her too. She just chickened out because she knew I would have schooled her. And I made I would have made her look stupid. She knew that, guys. Okay? She's a trad thought. <laughs> I just want you guys to understand the power of someone who's truly based. Pardon me. <clears throat> Speaking of belching on camera. Oh my god, bro. Did I ever fuck my shit up today, bro? I ate like, oh shit, I think like six cloves of garlic. I am not well right now. <laughs> so you guys will have to forgive me. I'm having like intense fucking acid reflux. So I'll try not to clear my throat too much. I want to say though, garlic is amazing for blood flow. It's amazing if you're a bodybuilder. Uh, and I would imagine it spikes your, uh, what do you call, you know, your insulin because it's spicy too. It's a fucking miracle fruit, dude. Like, that shit really is. Um, onions too. Full of amino acids. Completely, you know what I'm saying? It's steroids from God. That's really what it is, bro. Uh, worth my acid reflux, I'd probably eat them every day, but... <sighs> yeah, dude, um... What was I saying, bro? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just fucking out of it today, man. I was <laughs> chopping a goddamn stupid tree stump all day yesterday. Well, not all day, but I mean, it felt like all day. Uh, for about a few hours, dude, I was trying to fucking <clears throat> chop this goddamn tree stump that fell off this dead tree in our yard. And holy shit, bro, it was so big, like... I'm scared to work out of my home gym now. I'm afraid some shit's going to fall on me. So if you guys don't hear from me, maybe that's what happened. I don't know. But uh, I think I'm okay now because that was the only branch that was like right in front of my shit. But yeah, dude, it was like it fell right next to my gear. And I was like, why did I have my shit here, dude? I literally could have died. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would have gave the trolls what they wanted. But... Speaking of trolls, though, bro, that's the reason why my trolls are so afraid of me. It's because what I have to say, it triggers them. It, it makes them feel bad about themselves. You know what I'm saying? It scares them because the truth is the deadliest thing to a coward. To a coward, truth is like kryptonite because it completely crumples their ego. It makes them question themselves. That's why I'm hated by that one stupid podcast. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Not even going to say their initials, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Crazy fucking SJW tards, you know. Uh, those people, you know, they, they have the worst egos. They have a bigger ego than, a you know, a gym bro at the gym. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the people that they call douche. You guys are ten times worse than them, dude. You get triggered over the smallest things. And that just says you have a very huge ego. And that you're full of your shit. You know what I mean? You are. And I, I cannot, I will not waste my time arguing with an SJW. It, it, I would have better, you know, <laughs> better luck arguing with a rock. I mean, a rock is more intelligent than an SJW. They're beyond help. And I, I'm i sorry to be so real, but like most of them do belong in a padded cell. Like they, they really are mentally deranged. And I don't, I want to make this very clear, okay? I'm not against trans, you know, uh, getting a sex change, uh, transgenderism, whatever. If you feel like you belong in a different kind of body, that's fine. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. 
because I, I've stated this before. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just it's a body edit. It's no different than changing your hair color. Uh, I mean, yes, it is more extreme, but it's still just a body edit. And if you want to do that, that's totally cool with me. I don't care. I just think most people who do it these days are doing it to fit in. They're doing it because they, you know, they want to be part of this agenda going on. Okay. I have to be careful what I'm saying here, but you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I think I'm okay, but I don't feel like going on bit shoot. So I'm just going to say my two cents here. You know, I, I tried speaking reason to some SJW tards the other day on Twitter, and I just reminded myself, like, oh, yeah, that's the reason why I block them on YouTube. I mean, they're just completely, utterly stupid people. There's really no hope for them, you know, at least the good majority of them. And, uh, you know, I am praying for them, though. I feel like that's what I should do as a Christian. But they are truly, utterly stupid people beyond help. And many of them do belong in a padded cell. You know what I'm saying? They're dangerous to society. Most of Antifa are SJWs. Many of them are transgender. Um, but again, I'm not here to judge people. But I'm just simply saying many people within that community, you know, they're posers. Okay? Especially guys who just want to get laid, incels. What's the best way to get laid if you're a guy and you're an incel? Change your sex. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Become a woman because guess what? They know that it's a gynocentric world. And see, these are the things that I would have told Brittany Venti that would have really triggered her because she knows deep down gynocentria is real. She just does not want to accept that for the life of her. And that's why she's against MGTOW. It's because she does not want the truth to be told. Guys, I'm telling you, she is not a good person. She is foul. Okay? She's foul, bro. You don't wanna you don't wanna roll with someone like her, dude. She she's fake as fuck. I would even say maybe a narcissist. I don't really know entirely, but she seems to have those vibes. Um you know, she she doesn't care about her cause, she's in it for money, and that's why she retired. Because, guys, listen, if she really cared, she'd still be making videos. She got what she wanted from Think Before You Sleep. She ditched his ass, and now she's, you know, she's living the good life. Guys, this chick completely played him, bro. And if you can't see that, you're a goddamn fool. Like, she played him like a goddamn fiddle. I genuinely feel sorry for the guy. Uh, you know, I heard how heartbroken he was, and that makes me feel bad for him. Even though he's a simp, you know, even though he cocked himself and he left MGTOW, um, if you guys didn't know, he used to actually be part of the MGTOW community. So, yeah, I mean, he pretty much got karma, but still, I mean, man to man. Excuse me. <clears throat> Here comes that garlic. Mm. I'm actually doing pretty good, considering all the garlic that I ate today. Man to man, though, I do feel sorry for him. Uh, someone like Brittany is a complete vampire, dude. She'll rip your heart out and eat it right in front of your face. I know women like that. I've dated women like that. Uh, they are heartless fucking demons. <laughs> they really are, bro. And I'll just say this. I do wish her well. Um, because I'm not a hater. But just understand this, Brittany. Karma will come to you. It will eventually. <laughs> and you're going to be alone with cats and wine. So I hope you enjoy your youth. You're about to hit the wall hard. And she knows that, and that's why she got triggered and, you know, shared my fucking pic on Twitter. Like, like a little fucking coward, you know? <laughs> oh, he hurt my feelings. Now you guys need to go after him and bully him. Like, what is this kindergarten fucking bullshit, dude? That's the same thing Boogie did, like, shit, seven, eight years ago. Um, about that long ago now, yeah, he did the same fucking thing to me. <laughs> but yeah, bro, um, you know, if you guys want to be stupid and immature, like I said, I'm going to call you out on it. And I did. And, uh, a lot of our little simps didn't even want the smoke, bro. <laughs> a lot of them, I, I checked every single motherfucker in her comment section, dude. <laughs> you know I'm saying, cause I have, I have time to do it. You know, you ain't, you ain't gonna pull that shit with me and, and think that you're, you know, gonna have no repercussions at all. You're gonna feel the Genesis sting, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're gonna feel the Genesis scorpion sting. Most of them didn't comment back to me because they knew I would hurt their feelings. Especially the simps. 
like I said, guys, when you're truly based, when you're when you're truly, you know, um, just beyond the stupid society, people will fear you. Again, that's the main reason why I'm hated is because people fear what I have to say. Truth is kryptonite to a narcissist, to a scumbag. You know what I mean? To these weak people who know deep down that they're living foul like Brittany Fenty, but they don't want people to question them because they don't want to feel bad about themselves and they don't want their ego shaken. I'll shake your ego all day, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll shake it right in front of your face. I don't care, dude. You know what I mean? I'm here to expose evil. I'm here to abolish Satan's law. And even though this earth is run by Lucifer, I will still do everything I can to bring him down and you know to expose him and his people because a lot of people like these SJWs are satanic you guys need to understand that okay the, you know the whole atheism satanism thing it's bullshit it's just a front they literally do worship satan the church of satan the temple of whatever Baal or whatever dumb corny bullshit they all do satanic sacrifices. It's real, man. They're trying to bring Satan in schools. <clears throat> They're trying to indoctrinate our kids. And these are the same motherfuckers who call me a creep. You know, the, these people, they openly support uh, kids going to pride events where there's openly naked people, you know, just walking around. You know, having drag queens do their weird-ass story time in elementary schools. These are the same people who call me a creep. <laughs> Pretty stupid, isn't it? Yes, it truly is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope this video doesn't get me flagged. But if it does, I'm probably just going to retire YouTube. I genuinely don't care anymore. Um, I, I see that my channel is pretty much dead for the most part. But, you know, I had fun with it. And I told, the, you know, I, I, I showed the haters who's boss. No, no one was able to stop me, bro. They tried so hard. <laughs> but all they did was just get triggered, you know what I'm saying, and get fucking frustrated. I'm an unstoppable force, and I want to make this clear. That's because I rock with God. It's because I rock with the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, the Most High. That's the reason why I'm untouchable. Without that, I would be touchable. <laughs> okay. But the Holy Spirit is the most powerful force. And that is why I say that it's not all paths lead to one. No, Jesus is the one. Okay, I don't want to hear about this one love bullshit. No, no, no. Jesus is the only one. He's the only path to heaven. Because he is the true power, the greatest power there is. So, with that said, guys, I think I can end the video now. Um, that's pretty much you know, the best thing you could hear anyone tell you. The best advice, anyway. So, um, <laughs> Brittany Venti. You were smart, girl. You were smart not to have me on your show because I would have completely humiliated you and I would have completely exposed you. And you guys know that. And to that stupid channel, I'm not going to say their name, who tried to, you know, turn tables on me and make me look bad. You're a fucking idiot, but thanks for the, pre, uh, the, for the free publicity. I appreciate it, bro. Because <laughs> you guys don't realize all publicity is good publicity, especially for a troll. So... Thanks for that, bro. Appreciate you. Anyways, guys, that's what I got today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play any Mario Party. I know I said I would. It's just, I'll be honest with you guys, I guess the mood kind of came and went, but I hope you got. I hope you enjoyed my little dance-off. Uh, that's probably one of the last dance videos I'll ever do. It's just, you know, I had my fun, like I said, and I'm mostly just here to try to, you know, expose evil and spread truth. So if you're just here for the memes, guys, <clears throat> are hoping that I'll do more shit like that. I, I think I've kind of retired all that in my life at this point. Uh, but with that said, I mean, we'll still have fun. And, <coughs> pardon me, the garlic's really starting to come. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, guys, uh, we'll still have fun, but... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I better get some fucking ice water. I need to put some ice in here, dude. My shit is going crazy right now. So we will see you on the next one, y'all. Peace.